What you're making DIYers, it's Walker with DIY.life. We've got yet another unboxing video. Woohoo, it is Christmas time, kids. We are gonna be unboxing and getting our hands on the Atomos Ninja 5 4K recording monitor. We bought this monitor off of B&H, and they do a good job of recommending accessories for the Ninja. Uh, let's start here. Uh, the monitor itself uh, can record uh, 422 10-bit color. If you're doing studio work and you're shooting on a green screen, Shooting 422 10-bit color is gonna be a life changer. You're gonna get some super clean keys. One thing I always notice when I key my footage that comes from my camera directly is that the shadows tend to have a lot of noise in them and I'll get some flickering sometimes in the shadows. And so I'm hoping that the Atomos Ninja 5 will fix all that because it's 10-bit 422 color space should have plenty of information for the keying software to pick up on. I'm editing this video together and I'm realizing I probably should make some clarifying statements. Yes, the Atomos Ninja can record 10-bit 422 color. However, my Canon 90D will actually only output 8-bit 422 color. Now, that's a lot better than what gets saved natively on the media card. So between the color space improvement and the fact that you're using a lossless codec ProRes, 422 versus the MP4 compression, I think we're gonna get a lot better keys out of this thing. And I'm actually pretty certain that that blocking flicker I was getting in the shadows is actually an artifact of the compression, not the color space. The monitor itself actually requires a storage uh, unit. Technically, it doesn't require a storage unit. Um, you can use it without storage as an external monitor and it'll operate just fine. But if you want to do recording, then you'll need storage. And it can work uh, with an SSD like this. This is a two and a half inch SSD drive. Um, it'll just slide right into the back of the Ninja. They actually recommend you get a low profile SSD so that it, uh, it fits the, the Ninja perfectly. Uh, but I read in a review that you can also use just a regular two and a half inch SSD. They're a little bit cheaper and you can usually get a little bit more capacity for the same price. So I went with the two and a half inch um, and it's just gonna hang off about an inch or so off the side of the unit, which I'm not really concerned about. The Ninja also takes um, L series batteries and I have a lot of devices here in the studio that take L series batteries. So I have a bunch of L series batteries already. So I didn't have to pick any of those up, but if you're planning on running this thing off of batteries, which I would uh, recommend, you get some L series batteries. Oh my God, can I say L series battery one more time? B&H also recommended um, these, uh, this hot shoe. So this is an adjustable mount for the Ninja. So you can mount it on top of the camera or on your, uh, your rib cage or whatever your setup is. Ooh, these are heavy. There's two in here, comes with two. Let's take them out. Yeah, these are, these are heavy duty. They're metal, they're not plastic. So you can really tighten these things down nice and tight and not be scared that you're gonna break it, which is good. Because the last thing you want is some flimsy mount, you know, holding up your, your Ninja monitor. So yeah, this is a good quality mount. Um, all the links to all of these products are in the description below. So if you wanna get exactly what I got, uh, check those out. I also got a coiled HDMI cable. I don't know if you need a special one for 4K or not, or 10 bit, I don't think so. I think any HDMI cable will work just fine. You're actually gonna to wanna to use an HDMI 2.0 or 2.1 cable. But I like the coiled one that B&H recommended. So you can, it can extend real long or it can be nice and compact if you need it. Oh my God, I don't need to see your sweaty pits, bro. What are you doing? 
So we picked up a, a coiled HDMI cable. And that's about it for the accessories that I got for the unit. Let's open up the Ninja itself and see what's inside. So it seems to come in this interesting plastic material that should just peel right off here. Okay. Uh, Remy's going to take that and start chewing on it. Remy, bro, you're being a little distracting. All right, how do we open this thing up? There is a, there is some kind of a pull tab here. Oh, here we go. Comes in a nice, pretty fancy matte finish box. Some nice graphics on it. And it's like magnetic here, so you can snap it open. You probably can, probably a nice box to store the unit in when you're not using it. It's got some form fitted foam in here. And just pulling it out of the box, I can feel that it's got some weight to it. There's a lot of metal here. The frame of this unit seems to be all metal. Some of the back plates here feel like plastic, but for the most part, it seems like it's a nice quality build. It's got a 420 mount there on the top. It's got a 420 mount on the bottom. So you can you know, mount it upside down or right side up, whichever way you like. Um, this is where the SSD drive is going to slide into. And this is where the L-series battery is going to go. Um, let's dig a little deeper in this box and see what else is in here. It's got a welcome, it's got a manual, probably a warranty card or something in there. And if we open up box number one here, uh, we've got different adapters, different power adapters for different countries. So that's interesting. We also have a power brick for the unit. Oh, interesting. It not only does it go in, but it goes in and it screws into place. And it comes with, oh, here we go. This would make more sense. Uh, it comes with a, a fake battery. So the power brick plugs right into the fake battery. And then you simply slide the L-series fake battery Like that. Oops. Like that. And now the unit can run off of uh, AC power. There's a uh, battery release button that you have to press to release the battery, which is nice. So nothing is coming. And the power cord screws into the fake battery. So, you know, if you give it a tug or if it gets tripped over or pulled on, it's not going to pull out and stop your recordings, which is all nice things that they thought about when they were putting it together. Uh, what is this thing? It's got some screws in here. This looks, this looks like a, um, a caddy, maybe for the, for the drive. This is a drive caddy. Um, yeah, that's about everything that comes in the um, Ninja 5 box. Like I said, um, we're going to be doing uh, lots more green screen work here in the studio. Uh, currently, we are shooting on the 90D. Uh, if you haven't seen my unboxing of the 90D, check that out up here. Not only did we upgrade from 1080p to 4K with the 90D, but the Ninja here is going to give us 422 color space. So when you combine the 4K resolution upgrade and the color space upgrade, I'm hoping to get super clean green screen keys out of this thing moving forward. I'll do some uh, side by sides. We'll shoot it with the footage straight out of the camera, straight off the media card, and we'll also shoot uh, to the Ninja 5 and we'll do some keys and I'll 
put them side by side, we can see does it make it look that much better. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel, and we will see you next time.